What's going on guys, Triple G Beast here. So a new trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda just released and it's regarding the combat within the game. I'm super excited to check this out. Before I watch it, I just want to let you guys know that as of yet, I have not seen any combat gameplay for Mass Effect Andromeda at all. I've only seen some cinematic trailers, I saw the 4K tech demo, but that's about it. I haven't seen any actual combat yet, so I'm super stoked to see how it's going to play out. We haven't had a Mass Effect game in about five years now, so super hyped for this. I'm a huge Mass Effect fan, and I am just... I can't wait any longer. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into it. So playing in 3, 2, 1... See what we got here. Nice. Whew. Oh man. Boom! <laughs> Welcome to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In Mass Effect Andromeda, you are the Pathfinder, the ultimate adventurer in a vast, unexplored galaxy. Wow. For humanity. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? Our first video will take a look at weapons and skills. Yes, please. What is that? Action is built around fluid, fast -paced, it's like a sand monster. <laughs> that combat offers amazing freedom of movement with the use of a jump shot. Oh, this looks jump, good. Evade, and even hover while you're fighting. Hover while you're fighting like a jetpack, okay. System allows you to seamlessly use almost anything. The Mako back? Oh, that's the new... Cover. Oh, okay, that's the Nomad, okay. All this freedom allows you to approach the battle in a way that suits your gameplay style. Oh, nice. Let's take a closer look at our weapons. In Mass Effect Andromeda, there are four categories of guns. Pistols, shotguns, and sniper and assault rifles. Right. Plus a range of melee weapons for up-close combat. Really? All guns are available to every player. There are no class restrictions. So if oh, cool. Try something new, it's as easy as switching your loadout. That's like how the mechanic is in Skyrim where you play how you want to. You're not restricted to one class. I actually like that. Tech comes from. Milky Way weapons typically use physical projectile ammunition that's similar to the types of weapons you might be familiar with from our original games, with some advancements, of course. <laughs> These are high impact projectile Nice. They're great against most non-shielded targets, but require you to keep an eye on your ammo. Oh Remember man, that looks sick. Have a high rate of fire and are extremely accurate. They use the overheat system and don't rely on ammo. So you'll never It's kind of like Destiny in third person, but time time. in terms of game like shooting Here's style. Are technology from civilizations that live in the Helios cluster of Andromeda. They're generally plasma. Boom. Means they're slower speed that benefit from heat seeking technology. Nice. Well, some are charge based. The longer you charge them before releasing, the harder they hit. So it's a mix. Okay. Melee weapons vary in both damage. Melee weapons. Hard hitting hammers do maximum damage. Well, like swords allow you to get in and out of harm's way with maximum speed and precision. Oh, yeah. In addition to weapons, I'm going to be a space samurai. <laughs> That's going to be my class. No restrictions on what skills you can choose, and each of the three main categories is designed to facilitate a certain style of play. Sweet. Combat skills are great if you want to focus on weapons, gear, and making your character the ultimate soldier. These skills focus on improving weapon damage and accuracy, as well as giving you the ability to use flat cannons, grenades, trip mines, and more. Tech skills allow you I like to all this with more experimental weaponry. different variety of ways you can take down your enemies. Cryo beam and flamethrower give you more offensive punch. Flamethrower out of your hand, huh? Or energy drain Badass. Opponents and make them easier to take down. Dude. Want a little extra help? Deploy your own assault turret. What? Last but not least, biotics. By controlling dark energy, your pathfinder can harness the power of mass and gravity. Biotic skills like pull and throw allow you to literally control the battlefield, using your enemies as a weapon. <laughs> like I was just holding the dude. Bye bye. <laughs> That's gonna be my favorite attack. Well, how do you kill guys? Well, I just pick them up and throw them at people. Upgraded to become increasingly more devastating and effective. Nice. Choices to make when upgrading. Offering you more ways to customize your playstyle. I like how there's more customization and RPG elements this time around. In this case, our Pathfinder is equipped with a sniper rifle and a shotgun, and they've got their three powers selected. You'll notice that different enemies. Lots of different abilities you can use. Some will keep their distance and try to snipe us. Others will charge right in and try to flush us out of cover. Damn. Sticky grenades is an advanced version of the Omni Grenade combat skill. I was playing the previous Mass Effect games a few days ago to 
prepare for Andromeda's release. Comparing this game to the original Mass Effect trilogy, like this is a huge jump forward in terms of quality. I'm loving the 60 frames per second. Like graphic wise, this is a huge jump. And just like you, their shields will recharge if you don't finish them off quickly. Tactical cloak is a tech skill. I'm gonna love meleeing enemies. I can already tell. <laughs> Be a space samurai with the flamethrower. <laughs> Not many games where you can do that. And synthetic enemies. By holding it before releasing, you can even chain it to multiple enemies. Damn. And this is just one of the hundreds of combinations. Gameplay is just so fluent. Good explosions. Michael Bay will be proud. To give you an added boost in combat. Favorites which allow you immediate access to your sets of power so you can change up on the fly. Okay. Squad skills and commands. Take cover. Take cover. Boom. It's like that vanguard skill where you fly towards enemies. Boom. Oh man, that looks badass. That looks so badass. All right, well, it sold me. <laughs> I might just pre-order it just for that. I mean, man, that looks so good. Compared to the, like like I said, compared to the original Mass Effect games, this is just a huge jump forward, and it looks like they're really just using the technology of Next Gen and just fully fleshing it out, and I absolutely love that. I mean, the gameplay looked really smooth. I didn't really notice any frame drops, at least not significantly. In terms of quality, it's way up there. It looks like there's a lot of attention to detail. I love the new uh, combat mechanics where it's not really focused on cover shooting, although it looks like there is a little bit of that, but it's more focused on maneuverability rather than just cover gameplay, kind of like Mass Effect 2 and 3 were. But in terms of being able to play how you want to, kind of like with Skyrim, how you can play with what you like, I actually like that. I don't like being restricted to a single class the whole game and having to use the same powers throughout the rest of the game. That can get a little bit repetitive, so I do like how you have this a way where you can just mix and max how you want to. Love that, so. I think this looks badass. Let me know what you guys think. I'm super stoked about this, and let me know if you're gonna get it, and let me know what uh, you're gonna play as. I'm probably gonna, like I said, be that space samurai. <laughs> space samurai with the sword and slashing out enemies in space and using a flamethrower with your hand. That'll be fucking awesome. Can't wait, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to like, and if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Peace!